In this step, we'll be installing your Aeris Surfboard Max router and connecting it to your modem with the Ethernet cable included in your box. Depending on your current home equipment and network, this process will be slightly different. Option 1. If you currently have a cable or DSL modem, but no Wi-Fi in your home, you'll just need to temporarily power down your modem and connect it to the Max when prompted by the app. Option 2. If you already have a modem or gateway with Wi-Fi, you'll be connecting your Max to your integrated gateway. Later, we'll recommend you disable your old Wi-Fi network. See your user guide for more details. Option 3. If you've got a cable or DSL modem and a separate Wi-Fi router device, you'll be replacing your old router equipment and network. Based on your configuration, you'll be connecting your new Macs to your network equipment. So feel free to get rid of that slow, outdated router. First, let's power off your current modem and gateway if you have one. Then, use the Ethernet cable to connect the yellow labeled WAN port on the Aeris Surfboard Max to any port on your modem. Make sure you use the Max One port. Now, plug the Aeris Surfboard Max router into a power outlet, followed by your modem. Note that Aeris Surfboard Max's LED light will change from amber to solid white, and then to white with an intermittent blue flash when it's ready to connect to your mobile app. You'll then follow the rest of the steps outlined in your mobile app to complete setup. After setup is complete, you'll want to switch any connected devices to the new Wi-Fi network using the SSID and password you created earlier in the network setup process.